Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How to Draw the Sports Edition. Here on this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, books, comics, and video games. And on occasion, I show you how to draw sports logos like this video that you are watching right now. So if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new video. Are you guys ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking your drawing afterwards. As you're watching this video, remember that you can pause this at any time so that you guys can catch up on your drawings. If you still find it going a little too fast for you, remember that you can also hit that speed button at the bottom right of this video so that you can slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And also, if your artwork looks a little different than mine, that is completely acceptable as well. Now, before we continue with the video, if you guys want me to do a tutorial video on your favorite sports team logo, please check out the links to the polls in the description of this video and vote for your favorite teams. The team logos with the most votes will get priority and will be drawn first. So happy voting. Having said all of that, you guys, let's get right to the tutorial. For the Natural Predators logo, I've got my paper in uh, landscape mode, sorry, this time around. And we're going to start off by drawing an angled line from here, kind of just going this way. And you want to make sure that it's about this angle right here. Okay, so this angle kind of matters quite a bit. Okay, from there, we're going to draw the main shape first, and then we're going to start drawing in, uh, filling in for the, the saber tooth tiger. So from here, so it goes like this. And right around here, it changes direction somewhat and it goes down like that. So think of it as a long slope, like this, and then a shorter slope, Actually, let me fix that. You want this to be like that is good. And then like this. So you want them to be very, very flat almost. Okay, from there, change directions here again. This is going to be where the nose is going to be. Okay, it goes like that and like this. And I'm going to straight, I'm going to draw a line that's parallel to this line right here. So it looks like that. And you want this line to sort of go around here. Yeah, right around here is good. And then change directions this way. So again, we're just drawing the outline first. And you want to get that shape as, as best as you can. Okay, and then once you're here, we're gonna, we're just gonna slope it like this. There you go. So that's a, and then a little line right there. And that sort of ends it right there. So now that you have this, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, shaping um, the mouth and we're going to start right here. And we're going to just kind of draw this thing that looks like a hot dog from here to here. And about that big. There you go. I'm going to erase this. Don't need that. And right below, this would be like the, the, the lower mouth just below it. Right around here, I'm going to draw a curve that goes from there to here. Looks like that. And from here to this point again. Okay. And then right here, another, it's kind of like the, the other side of it. And it just looks like that. So there's two little spikes going like this. All right. So there's that. Now let's uh, start shaping the head and the face. Right around here, we're, we're going to put the eye. And the eye, before we get started with the eye, I'm just going to break this down a little bit more by doing that. And then here, this goes down. And then right here is the snout. So it kind of goes down like this, across, or diagonal, and then across. That's what I'm trying to say here. So there you go. And they're very, they're very sharp. They're not smooth at all. So it looks like that. Okay. And then here, I'm just going to reshape that. Like that is good. And then here is going to be a little curve like this. And then it goes into the teeth like that. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go to the nose curve and then straight. And then from here, going straight to here. Okay. That's going to be blue. Go back over here now. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to do like a two curves like this. The top one goes up and then curves out to about here. Okay, this one curves this way, but that much, and then it goes up. And then imagine this kind of going to there, this point, about halfway through the line. Okay, right here, we're going to draw the pupil. So half circle right here. And then another half circle right here, closer to the bottom than the top. Okay, so you notice it's a little wider here than down here. And then go back here. Follow the curve of that semicircle to about this point, And then make a triangle to that point. Okay, and then here we've got a line. And then find this point right here. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a parallel line. So this and this should be about the same. And then down here curving to that line right there. So that's what that looks like. Over here, three triangles, one, two, three. And the fourth one should be right where the dip is. And you want this to go underneath the eye, like this, and then like that, all still underneath the eye here. So two curves, this one going down and then angled close to the mouth actually, right there. And then find a point right here, curve, and then from here to this point, curve this way. Okay, so that's the face, basically. So all of these lines right here should be, should be darkened and should be thick. So I guess you can start doing that right now and just make those lines thick thicker down here at the bottom than they are at the like at the face actually. So here in the face, you just want to keep them about that thick. And then as you get down, you want these lines to be a little bit thicker. So from here, let's start making the teeth curves in like this. And here it goes to there. And then another curve, like another set of teeth or another tooth right in the back. So you got two teeth down here. Okay, over here, find a point over here and make a little curve like that. And then here, it just goes straight back like this. Okay. And you just make a nice curve just like that. Okay, from here, you kind of want to make this curve. It goes curves like this and then another curve like that. Okay, once you get here, you want to draw a line that's parallel to this, like that. And then at this point, you want to bring it up to here in a curve like this. Okay, line and a longer line. Now from here, you go in this way and then you want to bring it out to about, see this curve right here above it, right around here. And you want to bring that curve to there. Okay, and then now this goes, dips down like that. And then a curve to here. And then erase this part, and that's what it should look like. I, to be honest with you guys, I don't know what to describe this. It's just the design of it. Okay, right here, we got three, like, tooth-like tiger stripe shapes right there. And then let's draw the ear. And the ear starts down here. It goes out to there, goes in to, to the line again, and then goes down, curves, right here goes like that, and like that. So that's the ear right there. Okay, from here, this way, and then leave it like that for now. What we're going to do is we're going to follow a line from here going straight up to the ear, and then Find a point right here, draw a line, and then darken this side. And then from this point, you want to draw a curve to there. Okay, let's start right here. I'm going to draw three more tiger stripes, the middle one being the longest. 
Actually, this line should be, the end one should be the longest. Sorry about that. There you go. Now, past the ear on this side, follow that curve. I'm going to bring this. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it like that for now. What I really want to do first, and I really should do, is darken this right here. And make this the thickest line that I've drawn so far. There you go. And then you want to darken these as well, but not as, but not as dark, not as thick. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, finish it up. Let's make this super dark as well. And super thick, about this thick right there. So much so that this actually just becomes a point. And that's what you want. Okay, let's make this thick as well. Make this a little bit thicker. Now from here, you want to draw a line going from there to here, this point. This goes this way. Find a point right here, very close to the line. And it gets narrower as you go down. Okay, from here again, goes down this way now. So it makes this little tiger stripe. Okay, from here to right here is good, like that. And then imagine a curve going from here to there. You want to stop right here, now here to there. Okay, so that's all blue. Like this part should be blue, this part should be blue as well. I'm going to shade all of that in with my black marker. This part should be blue and this as well. Okay, let's go over here to the teeth and let's let's figure out how we're going to shade in the teeth. From this point, we're just going to bring it to right here. So find about, I don't know, uh, th divide it into thirds. And you want to draw a curve right here, going all the way to the tip. And this is blue right here and it includes, includes this point right here that comes out like that. So there's that and then here looks like that. And then lastly, it, the, the Predators logo has uh, a yellow, kind of like a stripe that goes across from this point, going all the way here, sort of crossing the nose there, or not crossing the nose, just brushing underneath the nose. And then the top of the nose, going this way, okay? And then imagine this going all the way to here. So. Imagine that smooth curve going all the way to here, except here, I'm going to draw a line like that. And then here I draw a line like this. Okay. Now from, from the nose, imagine this going, crossing this little point and going all the way to here like between this line and this line, this point right here. It looks like that. So there's the, there's the yellow, part of the logo that goes across right there. Now the last thing is we're going to outline it all. And this outline is going to be yellow and where I see sharp corners, I round them, make them round like this. Like that, okay, here it goes around. The curves over here, go straight like that. To there, okay, goes around, makes a nice, nice curve, like that, to there, and this way, follow those angles, okay, follow the teeth, once you get to this point, it goes like this, and then like that. And from here all the way to there. Once you have that, you guys, you're done. It's a simple, well, it is a pretty complicated design, um, but there it is. You have the Nashville Predators logo right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.
And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at Patreon patreon.com slash draw it to check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron next i have official draw to merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts mugs and mouse pads and finally you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at draw to.storeenvy.com your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you guys did like this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. Also, if you liked this video, commented below or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel. Again, you guys, all of these links are down in the description below. Finally, thank you once again for watching and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.